Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to integrate this Kinkoni Server Mini to Home Assistant because this Server Mini that is made by the Raspberry Pi 4 so this video I will show you how to use this Raspberry Pi 4 GPIO for relay output and digital input integrate to Home Assistant just by the GPIO for the Raspberry Pi and you can see here that is our Kinkoni Server Mini version board it's made by the CM4, that computer model CM4 that have some GPIO uh, for the input and for the output. And also you can see here is our PCB board, uh, you can see, and the schematic that is the CM4 have connected with this sound really output and some input directly. So you can see here, we can see the 3D mode. So that you can see, each channel relay have connect with this connect with the CM4, and the each channel digital input have connect with the CM4. So we can use this CM4 pins in Home Assistant. Uh, this video I will show you how to add these pins to the Home Assistant. We can see the GitHub that the Home Assistant support Raspberry Pi, GPIO, and for the integration. So we just integration the digital input and the digital output pins to the Home Assistant. Okay, let's look at it. At the first, you need to install the HACS. Uh, the HAC, HACS that will install the integration for Raspberry Pi. And uh, you can see here how to download and how to install the HACS. And after install the HACS, so we can just use this configuration. So this for binary sensor, and also we support the cover and we uh, support the switch so this video i will show you how to uh, use this switch eight channel switch just for eight channel relay and eight channel binary sensor that is for digital input so just the input and output okay the first step we need to install the hacs so let's look at here Install HACS, just these steps. The first, we need to install the add-on for the SSH. But before you install the SSH, make sure you have enabled the advanced mode in Home Assistant. So you can see, I can click it here in your Kinkoni profile. Uh, this is your load name, and you will see uh, the added app option that is advanced mode. The default is disabled, so you need to enable it. And then you back to the setting, and then you will click add on, so that you you can see the add on store and import SSH. We can install this SSH. And bef because I have installed, so I just uh, configure it firstly. You can see the configuration. Uh, for the easiest way, I just input the password and uh, not need to change anything. So I can press save and uh, back and uh, click this again. You can see I can enable this show in sidebar that will uh, list it here. So you can see I can click that will see it here. Now you can click start. And we can also see the login. Uh, that is start successfully. And click information and open web UI. And you will see that is the command line. Okay, the next we can see here that you can, we have already started the add on and running the, running the add on. And we can use this download script. So we can just copy, just copy this script, and then you can paste at your home assistant at here, and then you can press your keyboard, Ctrl Shift V, so that can paste at here, and then you can enter. Then we can it begin download. Okay, you can see that is install complete. And remember to restart in. 
Home Assistant before you configure it. Now you need to restart the Home Assistant. You can click Restart. Okay, Home Assistant is restart. And you can press Ctrl and F5. So that can clear the web browser cache. And now you can click Setting and click Device and click the Integration and Add Integration and Import HAC. Yes, so you will see this item and click and check all options and click submit and open github and paste this code so you can click this one and this need to log in with your github account so just say and i have paste this is received my email and this is device activity so this code you can see it here just this code and paste it here and continue okay then you can click this green button okay this is uh, successfully and you can back to this home assistant that will show successfully okay press finish and we can see that the HACS have installed complete now let's install this Raspberry Pi GPIO uh, by this HACS just to copy this name and click that here and you will see HACS on the left and click and integration click this one and input you can see here I input Raspberry Pi GPIO so this integration we need to add just click and down this is readme just how to use just click download and click download Okay, now we can click back. Now we can click restart. Okay, after restart, we can click uh, this integration, and you will see uh, this Raspberry Pi GPIO can be used now. And now we can see how to use it. And we can create a binary sensor, copy it here and the switch switch at here so now we can use the file edit and edit the config yaml file uh, this yaml file so if i want to create the switch you can see here i can just copy this demo code at here and this is a number of i can choose this really one CM4 relay 1 and this is CM4 relay 2 relay 2 and this is part this is the GPL number of CM4 so you can see in our form uh, this is table that is for output 1 this is the GPL file so we can add it to change to file and this is relay 2 this is relay 2 that is 22 so I can change to 22 actually we can uh, copy this copy this and add here so that can be see it easily so I can copy and paste uh, for 8 channel relay So you can see only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and this one five twenty two and seventeen and four seventeen four and six thirteen 
six thirteen and nineteen twenty six. Okay, uh, this can defined the GPL and this name. This name you can change by yourself and create the switch. Okay, we press save and we can restart the whole assistant system and restart. And now we can click this setting and the device and click the entity. And now you will see this CM4 relay 1, relay 2, relay 3, relay 4 until relay 7 and 6. So you can go to this dashboard and we can create a this dashboard. We can create a new page that is Kinkoni Server Miniverse. And click save because we will add this card to this web page. So you can click add entities and this is for relay output so you can add this cm41 and cm42 3 and 4 7 5 6 Seven, eight. Okay, you can click save, and now you can click this for a test. You can see our relay. You can see the LED inside is on and off. Also, I can turn on all relay, so you can see the left and the different side. So you can see I can turn on. and turn off and all on so this is the first step you have integrated this 8 channel relay output and then next we can integrate uh, this 8 channel digital input so also we can go to this file edit and we just uh, paste this code you can see this binary sensor code copy and paste it here Paste the here, so that also is plant four is this one, and this time we need to check this cable, and that is for the input. You can see, uh, this is input uh, one, a uh, two, three, four. That's input one. So this also we have this table. We just replace in Home Assistant config file, and this means uh, CM four input one in one and this that is cm4 in two so i can copy and paste this code and that's and just replace the, the gpl number okay uh, this is two three four five six seven eight and this number you can see here and uh, 23, 20 and 21 okay 20 and 21 click save and now we can also restart home assistant uh, system and restart okay home assistant you restart and now we can click setting and click the device and the service and click entities and this time you will see this same for input 1, input 2, and input 8 have created. So we can go to this dashboard and click click on the server mini web page and edit dashboard and add a card. And this time we also add the entities 
That is for input. Uh, maybe you have used your sensor. So we can rename as sensor. And this is CM4 in 1. And this is CM4 in 2. And in 3. And in 4. 5. 6. 7. 8. And you can click save and down. At this time, you can see this sensor and the state. Uh, state is on, uh, but don't worry. This can change the invert options. Let's test it firstly. You can see the default is on. When I use my twice a uh, shot, this is for input one. You can see here that is input one, and this is ground. You can see this. Is ground so you can see if I shot these two parts and you can see uh, this is become off and when I remove it uh, this is become on so I shot for this two point for input one and ground and you will see uh, that is off so this is might any dry contact sensor state you can connect it here but you will ask the sense I need to opposite the state uh, this I have I need to it become off when triangle become become on so you can see the github there I have an option you can see uh, this binary sensor have the invert logical we can add this code click copy and in file edit we can add this to this section at right here so you can see uh, just append at the name and also we can copy and paste Okay, you can click save and now we can restart the home assistant. Restart. Okay, now we can go to this overview dashboard and click can connect server mini. Now you can see the default is off. So this is the way we need to we want it. And you can see this input one. So you can see I can shut for this input one again. And this input one, you can see this is triangle is on. So this is change the state, the invert. And also you can see here that is channel two, the second channel of digital input. Uh, this is input two. So you, you can see this is on when I triangle, just the shot, shot for these two points. So this is how to integrate the output and digital input for the Raspberry Pi. GPIO to Home Assistant. Thanks for watching.